Major Slack Attack. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Pure Kajib build and the Zero Armor playthrough. We have just entered the Ragged Flagon as instructed by Brynjolf in an attempt to join the Thieves Guild. And one of the main reasons, besides uh, having a fence to Nulia to offload stolen goods, quiet, you were doing a walkthrough here, um, is also to have access to a lock picking skill trainer, which is Vex. All right, and um, yeah, there's only two lockpicking skill trainers in the entire game, Vex, and one that is with the roaming Khajiit caravan, I believe, um, which is really hard to access. Now, for us, the lockpicking skill is, you know, in general, a junk skill. I don't really, you know, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'll just start over. Um, but uh, yeah, just. For demonstrational purposes, let, let me bring up the magic screen. I didn't mean to do this. Yeah, this is a junk skill. I, you know, if we put any perks into it, it will be the last thing we do. But it is a way to quickly level up by buying some skill training, some cheap skill training. So that's another reason why we are joining the Thieves Guild. All right, and let me just quickly reload so I don't um, waste my skill training purchase rights. Let's get busy. Bring you off. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. Now, you have any other work for me? How about handling a few deadbeats for me? I can do that. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. That's what I'm talking about. Consider it done. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. No, nope, we know going. how to do this. Okay. I'll be here when you We have to handle a few deadbeats. If you're looking for conversation, the flagon is the place. Back in town. Helga. Bersi and Kirava. I actually really enjoy doing this. No matter how many times they do it, <laughs> I get a big kick out of strong army these guys. Okay, fastest way to get to Helga's bunkhouse is to simply fast travel to Ripton. That will put us right next door. Helga's Achilles heel is her statue of Debella. Steal it and she'll freak out. Statue of Debella is right around the corner here. Let's just steal it right away. Yoink. Uh -huh, got your statue. What do you Please, say about that? Don't you. You have my statue. That's right. What are you going to do with it? Well, gee, uh, why would I drop it down the well? <laughs> Lady Debella. No. Please. I can't lose her. Okay, well, pay up I then. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. No, no. That's not very friendly. And, um, let's just grab your ingredients here since we're a master alchemist. These could come in handy. Grab that lavender and these mountain flowers here. And that's it. Ta ta now. See you in the funny papers. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. Okay. It's kind of hard to do when you, like, you know, intercept us as soon as we leave. Uh, let's get our daggers up and running and enter the pond prawn. And do a little destruction, starting with this precious vase here. too much time about himself. I can't. Just pay them, Bercy. Yeah, really? Again? Okay, here we go. Oops. I can't. This isn't happening. In my best Steve Urkel. Can I do that? <laughs> okay, no. that was a message from Brynjolf. I can't believe you did that. You people are monsters. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's beside the point. Give us the money. Take your coin and tell Brynjolf to leave Watch us alone. Oh, hey, you're a merchant. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons now. After all, I'm all paid up. That's true. Let's do business. <laughs> Some may call this Sorry about that little, um, me, you know. I call them treasures. It was just business. Uh, what do we got here? We don't need this, this, or this. You know what? I think I'm going to go without the Elven Sword, too. 
a practice runs. I, I never really ended up using it. I'm probably going to regret it, but uh, you know, it's just to lower our carry weight a little bit. And all this stuff can go. Excellent. Okay. Ta ta. Nice doing business sure? with you. It was in your handwriting. If you can't keep the books straight, then let me do them. Okay, stop talking now. Uh. I want to leave without dragging anybody out the door with me. Very good. Okay, next. Good day, officer. <laughs> Into the bean barb. Now, Key Rabbit has heard news I that we strong armed Bercy so and. Place. Helga, so she's Therefore, just gonna give it up right away, aren't you? Aren't you? I have a message from you. I have a message for you from Brynjolf. Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. <laughs> you tell him I'm sorry, yes? Okay. Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. Add a girl. Taylor, another round. Thank you. All right, so mission accomplished. Whee! Whoop. Okay, let's go. Back to bring you up in the ragged flagon. Bring off. Job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. Good I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. I'll get you the rest of your coin by tomorrow. Yeah, and um, Kiravis says she's sorry about telling you to go jump off the pier. So that's a little bonus. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. And he gives you some. Junk potions, draft of light feet. That's probably a, a sneak potion. That's just that's it, just the two of them. Job's done. Boss. Okay. Um. So, what's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Good. So let's get on with it. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. All right, and at that point, you can run ahead, go to the storage cabinet, open up the secret door behind it, and go into the cistern. And typically, if you run ahead to um, the head honcho here, Mercer Frey, and then just wait in there. There's a hustle up. Bring you off. Come on, let's go. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Bring you off. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. If you break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussion. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? I don't know. I think I'd like to debate that a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, yes. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the theme field. Excellent. Okay, at this point, uh, Brynjolf is going to give you details about your next mission, which is at the Golden Glow Estate. Uh, it's questionable whether I'm going to do this or not, but let's just plow through the dialogue until we get to the objective. Clear out Erangoth's safe. There we go. Clear out Erangoth's safe, even though Brynjolf is still talking. You can tab out of it and just leave. Okay, in case you've never joined the Thieves Guild before, this is your bed. Okay, and all these guild chests you can freely loot. And there is almost a complete set of Thieves Guild gear around your bed. Gloves, hood, and boots. 
And let's loot all the guild chests. Lots of valuable stuff in these guild chests. Let's go all the way around, loot all the guild chests. That's the only thing I'm interested in. You can take what's in the barrels too, but I don't really care. Hey, let's talk a sec. Take everything in the guild chests. And that's it. And there is another complete set of these guild gear in the practice room. This is probably Nirun. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of business with him later. Right here, gloves, hood, and over here on the dresser is the boots, and up top is the armor. There we go. Very good. And there's lots of treasure chests that we can practice lockpicking on. We're actually going to put that to good use momentarily. For now, let's go see Tenilia and get a third set of these guild gear, all of which we're going to sell back to her because it's all armor and we're not allowed to wear it. But it will sell for a pretty penny. Tenilia. It's like, did you know you could steal all the stuff in the thieves guild and they won't mind? Yes, I knew that. So if you want to grab all this stuff here, they'll, they'll give you a little, you know, scolding, but they don't care. Even if they grab it right in front of them. Haha, got your bread. You do that. You've always been the most reliable one. <laughs> they don't care. So yeah, if you want to go around and grab all the junk loot and sell it back to them, yeah, whatever, but I'm not going to bother. Um, we are looking forward to Nelia. Then he isn't sharing it with me. Oh, there she is. Okay. So you're the new recruit, huh? I am. Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Here's your armor. Just there we go. Make sure you put it to good use. I certainly will. And she will buy stolen goods off you. Let's take a look. Got a thousand gold approximately. Um, let's start with the stolen jewels and other stolen stuff that we acquired in the process of joining the Thieves Guild. And I also want to offload this. Don't really care about the potatoes. You can have the wine. 15% harder to detect it. You know, that goes. Don't need that either. Huh. I forget where I got these, but these might be useful. Even though they're worth 128 gold each. Yeah, I, you know, we'll keep them for now. You can have that. And you still have 686 gold left. Let's offload all this stuff here. Don't need this. And let's just wait 48 to get her gold supply to respawn. Everyone's wrong. Number 24. Now why don't you All right, another round there, bartender. I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. And right. another round, bartender. Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. And think that about covers it. 10,000 gold. Sweet. All right. I think that calls for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Now, uh, let's simply make sure I've got offloaded everything. To oh, here we go. Too bad it's got the wrong enchantment on it. We could actually use this as a one handed weapon, but um, we don't need to soul trap anything. So, yeah, you go. All right, that about covers it. Carry weight down to 49. That's unusually low. Uh oh, did I sell something I shouldn't have? Oh, right, I sold the Elden Sword. I decided to need that. Okay, so that's that. Let's go talk to Vex. Even if you're one of us, and get some lock picking skill turning. I'm gonna have to plow through a little bit of dialogue with her. Two things perfectly clear. One, 
I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. Okay, you're so the you bottom bitch. Let's get to the point here. Okay, so basically what you did was just introduce us to um, the idea of doing jobs for the Thieves Guild, which in basically involves stealing stuff from them and bringing it back to them. And we may or may not do that, but for now, we are more interested in lockpicking skill training. All right, but if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. And you know what? Before we Walking do this, let's go have a little cat nap and get the rest of bonus. We could go up to Riften and get the well rested bonus at the end, but I'm not going to bother with that. Just a little cat nap here. 5% extra skill leveling power. That plus the Thief Stone is 25%. That's good enough. And we're going to buy 5 rounds of lockpicking skill training from her. Just to help with leveling and to get some quick hurt points. It's really cheap. Alright, 5 times please. And I'm just listening to my little drum rolls. I mean, after all, I'm paying like 300 gold each one. <laughs> I want to hear him. There we go. And now we can finally level up. Points into health. See that perk point for now. Come on, take another job so we can both make some money. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, she's really got the hot on for you to take on a Thieves Guild job. Um, let's go pick one, pick the lock on one of those treasure chests in the practice room. Because right now our lock picking is just short of the next level. See, it's just short of level 32. We can get a free level by, you know, just going to say the novice lock should do it. There we go. Now let's buy another round of lock picking skill training. So, feeling loose? How about all right? But if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. I love her disclaimer. Okay, five times, please. And we leveled up again. Like I said, an easy way to get a couple quick perk points. Even if you're level up again, points into health. Save that perk point for now. You don't give up trouble. Now. Plenty of loot out there, just right for the taking. Let's rinse and repeat. Let's go pick the lock on the apprentice locked chest in the treasure chest room. Same thing, get a free level since lock picking is just short of level 38. I was trying to get hidden from that guy because there's a thing here where if somebody is practicing in this room and you don't take the trouble to get hidden, as soon as you break a lockpick you get kicked out of the lockpicking um, sequence which is kind of annoying. So that's why you may be thinking, Slack, why are you bothering to get hidden? That's why. Okay, so we got a free level. Same dealio here. Uh, the target level is 40 for now simply because I think uh, if we ever do start putting points into lock picking this one here able to pick locks without being noticed would be very useful you just run around town and break into everyone's homes and don't have to worry about getting spotted I think that would be a lot of fun later on <laughs> insert diabolical laughter all right finally two more Rounds of lock picking skill training. One, two, there we go. Reach the target level. And we're good. 
Let's blow this popsicle stand. Exit by the secret back door. Come here a second. Yank on the chain. Up we go and discover the back entrance to the Thieves Guild. As soon as we get out here, we want to get some lavender. This is an expert lock gate. If you feel like picking the lock, go ahead. But I'm just going to use this barrel here to jump over and grab eight quick lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are now... Grab some dragon's tongue here. Yeah, we are now going to work on getting the green thumb perk in alchemy. This will require alchemy to get up to 70. Let's spend one perk point right away into concentrated poison. Now we're just one perk point away from the green thumb, but we will have to get alchemy up to 70. Tell you what, since we're a master thief now and no one's going to bother us if we steal stuff, let's go to the Grave Concoctions in Falk Reef. One of the few alchemy shops that will not disrespect allow you to steal stuff. Me. Oh no, we're like, you know, That's we're perfectly on the up and up. We're a tax paying citizen. <laughs> okay, out of the way here. Coming through. Yeah. <clears throat> Grave Concoctions, one of the few shops in alchemy shops in Skyrim that will not allow you to do some kind of favor for her and then take all the ingredients in her shop for free. Someone Basically, you're, you're a cheap SOB, aren't you? Aren't you? You're a cheap SOB, them. aren't you? So, um, she deserves to have all her stuff stolen. <laughs> Ooh, giant stuff. So let's just get right behind her, do a quick save, and yike, yike. Grab all this stuff here. What do you got on you? Interesting. Okay. Grab all that stuff. Make sure she's not looking. Grab this ice ray teeth here and the salt pile. All these potions. Watch her. Sometimes she turns around and um, starts working on the alchemy lab. So she may catch it. So be careful of that. And all these expensive potions, we now have a fence for them. So that's great. What do you got in here? Carrots. Looks like there's something in here. Aha, flying medita. Okay. And call upon me if I can be of any service. Okay. Is there Don't any way the we can get these? Frighten you away. I have plenty of reliable tonics and healing potions to sell. Yoink. Yoink. Let's just wait an hour and see if we can get her to turn around and start working on the alchemy as lab. Much as you like, Go work on the alchemy lab. Add a girl. Come on. What's, what are you going to do? There we go. Okay, great. Now we can steal these potions. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, hey, hello. Gotcha. And whoop. Be of any service. There we go. All right, the operation was a success, doctor. And for future reference, there is an alchemy skill book right there underneath this basket. We're gonna come back for that later. But for now, let's go crank out a whole bunch of power potions and see how close we can get to level 70. What else did I wanna do? Um, we got the lavender. Oh, tundra cotton. If you have Skyrim Special Edition installed, it should be four tundra cotton right here. If not, um, there's tons of tundra cotton on this road just south of White Run Stables all along here. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> I have burping my coffee here. Okay, let's go have a little cat nap. 
Make sure you got the thief stone activated in DVDB. And then we'll start cranking out the potions. Come on in. What do you need? This is a local Take favorite a and, and get the cold one of the out. first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old. Damn, what is that racket? You there! The Maybe what did I tell you about that imperialist propaganda? You sure. What can I do for you? Stop it. Crystal sure. My voice could use a rest. Thank you. I can barely hear myself think. Okay, now. Let's just... Uh, there's so many things I'm going to need. Let's just grab all the ingredients. Instead of uh, cherry picking through them and trying to get the right ones. Possibly forgetting one. Because I've got a, a long list of rather obscure potions I'm going to be making here. Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, okay, this is one of those glitches where... Oh, it's actually before business hours. Here we go, okay. Got something for just about everybody in here. All right, making sure that the thief stone and the wall rest of bonus are in your active effects list. And let's do a quick save before every major crafting session. And let's start cranking out some power potions to power level alchemy. Starting with I offer remedies for ailments blue mountain flower. Do let me know if I can be of service. Do we have any rock war plagues? Yes, we do. And hanging moss. Next, blue mountain flower. Hanging moss and lavender. Salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart. There we go. Next. Death Bell and Salt Pile practically mix with anything. Let's start with garlic. That's probably one of the best things. Oh, we have five garlic. Great. <clears throat> and Salt Pile. I sell cures for all we have one Salt Pile left and we have one, have one Death Bell left. Um, it also mixes with Bleeding Crown. It mixes with Bone Meal. I forget which one is the most valuable. Let's go with... Um, For remedies for Let's go with bone meal. And rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. Next, blue mountain flower, blue butterfly wing, and giant's toe. Oh, I don't have any blue butterfly wing. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. Okay. Huh, there are other Giant's Till recipes. For example, Bear Claws, Giant's Till, and Hanging Moss. Did we use up all the Hanging Moss? Yes, we did. How about that one requires Blue Butterfly Wing? Creep Cluster, Giant's Till, and Hanging Moss. No, Bear Claws, Creep. Do I mean Creep Cluster? Here we go. Okay. I know we got some Bear Claws. No, we don't. Creep Cluster, Giant's Till, and Glowing Mushroom. There we go. Okay. Just reading off a little list here. Creep Cluster, Glowing Mushroom, and Giant's Till. What are you worth? Cha-ching! Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's next? Um, we only got one Giant's Till. Let's have to move on down my little list here. Now we're getting to the real junk potions. Uh, Bleeding Crown, Red Mountain Flower, and Tundra Cotton. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. What else can we make? Blister work, blister work, dragon's tongue, and fly and Manita. These are potions I never make. Um, first of all, let's see if there's any more Tapanella. Do I have any B left? No. More Tapanella? No. Okay, so it looks like Blister Root, you're up to bat. Dragon's Tongue and Fly Amanita. Five of each. How, how convenient. And we're up to level 64. Next. 
the target level is level 65. After that, we can go on the alchemy skill book run. So only one more level to go. Come on, baby. What else can we make? Uh, how about some honeycomb, slaughterfish scales, and thistle? This is a special junk potions list I made up for this, specifically for this occasion. In case you're wondering, I never make these potions. But uh, honeycomb, what is it? What is it? Slaughterfish scales and thistle. I sell cure. Okay, getting there. What else? Um, blister root, bone meal, and fly amanita. I think I ran out of all those ingredients. Blister root. Yeah, okay, we have no more blister root. How about um, Abyssin longfin? This is an unusual one. Purple mountain flower and snowberries. Both common and rare. And snowberries. And blue mountain flower, glowing mushroom. I don't know. We don't have any glowing mushroom. That's it, we're just a little short of level 65. Before we consider buying any skill training offer, let's see what she has for sale. You look rather, take a look. And make a little investment. She has blister root. It's 34 bucks a pop. I don't think that's worth it. She does have salt oil. I got my ears itchy, sorry. Okay. Let's just grab the salt pile. Things are looking pretty, uh, pretty slim here, Arcadia. <clears throat> That's because we just wiped out all our ingredients. Did I use up all my chicken's eggs? Okay, I think um, I'm just gonna have to break down and buy some skill training. I think I can teach you a thing or two. There we go. I have several elix. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes, I am. Let's give you a $3 tip. There we go, got all our money back. Mm -hmm. Great, mission accomplished. Maybe I have, I think I can teach just you a, a check, two skill training purchase rates left. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. These would be best spent on archery. Definitely. Let's go back. Actually, we don't have to go all the way back to the Thieves Guild. We can just go down to Riverwood. But before we do that, we can start our Alchemy Skillbook run right now. Right here in Arcadia's Cauldron. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. All right. Don't level up yet. Let's go down to Riverwood. Talk to Fane Dell. There he is. There's the man. I'll show you what I know. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Used up all our skill training purchase rates. Now we can safely level up. Points into help. Save that prick point for now. And let's continue our alchemy skill book run. Next. The Grave Concoctions in Falkreath. <laughs> let's go put it to good use again. Now, as I pointed out earlier, there is a skill book underneath this basket here. Let's just read it. 
and we're up to 67. Next, the new nicest corner club in Windhelm. Go all the way to the east end of Windhelm. Will listen to you. There's Sadri's used wares. Right next door is, <coughs> pardon me, the new nicest corner club. In the new nicest corner club. Yeah, watch it with that sweet roll stuff. Go upstairs and find this book right here on top of the dresser. A game at dinner. And well, nobody's looking. At that. Let's just take that. Yoink. And there's a salt pile there. What else? Is... Oh, more salt pile. Excellent. And there's a complete set of Imperial gear here if you're interested. I am not. Next, Winter Hold. Hey, where are you going there, Spud? We got work for you. In Winter Hold, immediately. Go to the east between this house and the other building there and push off to the kind of like down this ravine here. There are a pack of wolves down there. You can, I've done this before, you can completely avoid them by sticking to the left side here. And use your sky of course to jump down. He'll complain a little bit, but don't worry about it. And you're headed for this circle here. Watch out, there is a frost ruin there. It will instantly kill you. Let's see it, Slack. Okay. Wanna see it? Even if you're on a horse. <laughs> and it's not a pretty death either. <laughs> so yeah, trust me. You don't want to do that. Watch out for that. Okay. Off you go. And there's an alchemy skill book right here. Grab it and some other stuff here that you might find useful. Frostbite Venom and Rundy's Dagger, which is not a very good dagger. Finally, Anissa's Cabin. Go here to the window. Go into sneak mode, make sure you can't be seen. Actually, it doesn't matter because we're just going to read it. And there we go. Alchemy up to 70. Excellent. Cue victory dance music. And the green thumb perk. Two ingredients are gathered from plants. This is going to be incredibly, incredibly useful, especially for, with what we're going to be doing next. So get that. All right. And don't think about that other perk point um, while I'm off camera having breakfast. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time for some more pure Khajiit build empty zero armor playthrough. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.